Nice seeing you again. Uh, Greetings, Mr. C. Hello, Don. Daddy, Don has a marvelous idea. I just know you'll be crazy about it. I insisted, though, that he tell you about it himself, because, well, I don't really understand it. So I'll leave you two men alone to talk it over. She doesn't understand it, but she thinks I'll be crazy about it. <laughs> I'll have to put that through the computer and see what we get. Go ahead, Don. Start swinging. Well, I tell you, I've changed my mind about uh, giving that master to a major record company. I'm going to put it out myself under my own label. I mean, why give all that back to strangers? Clever, clever. Keep it all yourself. Except, uh, I just don't have the gas to go it alone. Now, the parents of each of the kids in the vocal group are coming in for a C apiece. They're going to swing for a Benny, huh? <laughs> now, I need one more to make it an even 600, which would pay for the editing, mastering, metal parts and make ready, plus the first pressing. I am prepared to offer you first crack at that open 100. It'll buy you a one-sixth share, or in percentages, that would be... A sixteen and two-thirds percent. <laughs> Thank you, junior grade genius. Sixteen and two-thirds percent. Look, uh, Don, I don't want to be a lint picker or anything like that, but sixteen and two-thirds percent of what? Oh, well, first, see, we pay the artist's royalty and the writer's royalty, the composer's royalty, and the publisher's take. Ooh. And I get one-sixth of what's left. Right. After the distributor gets his. <laughs> hey, man, you really swing. Well, you just like that song, no matter how it's played. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's suppose we sell 200,000 copies. That'll make the producer's end $22,000. Your share of that would be... $3,666.67. That's a heck of a return on the $100 investment. Yes, it is, but... Suppose you don't sell 200,000 records. So we only sell 100,000. The producer's share is $11,000. And Daddy's $1,833.33. Look at it this way. To get your original investment back, all we have to sell is... 5,454 records. How'd she do that so fast? This kid was weaned on a slide rule. Why'd you get lost now, honey? Oh, Daddy, why? Because this is man talk and you're a girl. Go ahead, fade now. Mm. There's only one thing, Don, that you've uh, overlooked here. What, what is that? Legal. Legal? Yeah, I, I really don't think Cole Porter's going to be elated at having you steal his song. You know, this, there's this whole messy business of lawsuits, and it can be very expensive. You, uh, you feel it's too similar to night and day? <laughs> it is night and day. Dead, killed, lacerated, mutilated, but the corpse... Still night and day. <laughs> well, I, I admit I was influenced by Cole Porter. I mean, it was kind of like a little leaguer being influenced with Sandy Colfax's pitching style, you know. <laughs> or to be more explicit, like a counterfeiter who was influenced by the Treasury Department's engraving style. <laughs> you mean you got me roadblocked? That's what I mean. Well, can't win them all. <laughs> That's what Casey Stengel used to say every day. <laughs> you know, I think you're a very talented young man, but I don't think your talents lie exactly in the same direction as Cole Porter's or Rogers and Hammerstein's or Lerner and Lowe or Kerry Jacobs' body. Wait a minute, I'll take a, I'll, I'll, I'll take a settlement. What about a Van Heusen and Kahn or an Irving Berlin? Something like that. What I'm hinting at, and uh, I don't want to be ruthless, but uh, you're not a songwriter. Well, I got that part of your message, but... What is this talent you see sticking out all over me? You're a promoter. You have the ability to take elements, put them in an attractive package, and sell it. Now, if you could concentrate some legitimate elements into a legitimate package, you're a businessman instead of a promoter. Well, can't make it any other way. Why not try legit? I don't want to pontificate or anything like that, but... It seems to me if you'd put the same thought, the same energy into something legitimate, <laughs> you'd bring the same kind of bread into the house. Well, I'm going to have to do a little brainstorming on this, you know. I don't want to rush into anything like that without a lot of consideration. Oh, no, you can't be too careful. Listen, you don't mind if I uh, twinkle toe out of here before, you know. <laughs> Bye, Don. See you later. Listen, on that record deal, suppose we cut Cole Porter in for a piece of the action. <laughs> I heard the 
door slam. Did Don leave? Yeah, old Don just tippy-toed out of here. Did uh, you and Don come to an understanding? Well, yeah, you might say that. What's that you're playing? It's Cole Porter's Night and Day. He stole it from Don. He just took Don's song and slowed it down. <laughs> Crosby Show will continue.